Hello students, the topic is India and Nepal relations. Nepal is one of our neighboring countries. So it shares border with five Indian states. You can look into the map over here. The five border, uh, border states that share with Nepal are Sikkim, West Bengal, Bihar, Uttar Pradesh and Uttarakhand. And the, the border length is 1850 kilometers. They have open border with Nepal and the Nepali citizen can avail the facilities and opportunities same like Indian citizens as per the India-Nepal Treaty of Peace and Friendship of 1950 Agreement. So Nepal is strategically very important for India because it acts like a natural security and buffer zone between India and China. It supports India to reduce the spreading of terrorism and Maoism. India has made several development projects with Nepal like the cross-border railways. So you can see in this picture over here, several stops are laid down between India and Nepal. So cross-border railways were laid. Pancheshwari multi-purpose project, bridges over Mahakali river also was laid. So for Nepal, India is the largest trading partner and the highest source of foreign direct investment, FDI. So India is the highest source of FDI for Nepal. And India and Nepal both are part of several multilateral cooperations like DBIN, that is Bangladesh, Bhutan, Nepal and India and BIMSTEC, so Bay of Bengal Initiative for Multilateral Security Techni uh, Technical and Economic Cooperation and also they are part of Non-Aligned Movement and SARC etc. So several platforms are laid down where both India and Nepal are partners. Next is Nepalese soldiers are recruited under the Gorkha Regiment of Indian Army and Indian India assist Nepal in modernizing the Nepal Army. So joint military exercises like Surya Kiran are done between the countries. So for meeting the electrical needs between the border areas of both the countries, power exchange agreement of 1971 is done and South Asia's First cross-border petroleum pipeline is constructed between India and Nepal connecting Motihari in India to Amleganj in Nepal. So it is constructed and funded by the Indian Oil Corporation Limited in 2019. To promote cultural significance, Swami Vivekananda Center for Indian Culture was set up in Kathmandu and India International Center for Buddhist Culture and Heritage was inaugurated in Lumbini, Nepal. So many rivers flows through India and Nepal. So there is a hydropower cooperation and flood control projects for both the countries. So West Sethi River is a tributary of Karnali River. So a memorandum of understanding was signed between West Sethi and the Saptakoshi um, sorry, West Sethi River and the Sethi River projects. Okay, so both the rivers, both the countries even agreed to develop the Saptakoshi High Dam project on the Kosi River. So, Mahakali Treaty on Hydropower Cooperation was also laid down, and Upper Karnali project in the Western Nepal and Aruntri projects on Western Nepal are also signed between. India and Nepal. So, India and Nepal relations are in news because recently in June month, Nepal Prime Minister has visited India and several initiatives and agreements were signed between both the countries and as per the agreements, twin integrated check posts were inaugurated in Rupai Diha in India and Nepal Ganj in Nepal. So, we have, we know, we have, we share open borders with Nepal and the border length of India and Nepal is 1850 kilometers. So various memorandum of understandings were signed between India and Nepal. So here you can look into this points over here. Uh, the development of Dodara Chandani check post along India Nepal border was done. Development of Phuket Karnali hydropower hydroelectric project was done and cross-border payments laying the second cross-border petroleum pipeline between Silguri in India and Japa in Nepal. So here the first uh, cross-border petroleum pipeline was between Motihari and 
Amlek Gunge pipeline. So this is a second cross border petroleum pipeline. So it is between Siliguri in India and Japa in Nepal. So the first pipeline extension was also made to Chitwan. So these are all the memorandum of understandings. And India also agreed for the first trilateral power trade from Nepal to Bangladesh through India for up to 40 megawatts of power. Thus, there are strong friendship between India and Nepal. But at the same time, due to China's influence and economic uh, cooperation with Nepal, China's economic cooperation with Nepal, some security issues like arms smuggling, terrorist activities and the trust gap is increasing and there are air connectivity issues be between India and Nepal also. So Nepal has uh, in 2020 published a new map. So in that new political map, Nepal has showed three Indian territories that is the Kalapani, Lipu Lake and Limpihadura. All these were part of Nepal as per the Nepal's political map but this is actually the part of Indian territories so this has increased the border disputes between them thus revising the friendship treaty of India and Nepal enhancing the air connectivity limited interference in India of India in Nepal politics by resolving the border disputes and by organizing joint cultural events film festivals etc again the friendship between india and nepal can be strengthened so this is about the india and nepal relations